Welcome to the Rusted Garden. One question I get a lot is, what can I grow in a five gallon container? And you can grow many plants. The key is really, when you start the season, your plants are small, they look cute, we're really proud that we've grown them, and we tend to overpack the five gallon container. I use typically uh, paint buckets that you can get at like Home Depot or Lowe's. You can also get them from bakeries or fast food restaurants for free, and they are food grade quality plastic. I also get containers from friends that put in trees or bigger shrubs and I use those. Those are peas. You can get anywhere from 6 to 12 pea plants into a 5 gallon container. Just make sure that you chaw some and peas grow really really well in a 5 gallon container. When you're making the soil, the container soil, the most important thing is to really make sure you have 50 percent organic matter. I use peat moss. You can use compost if you have it but you want at least half of your container soil to be something that's going to absorb water. The hardest thing for the containers, for the container plants, is really managing the water. You can definitely grow kale. You only want to put in one plant. That's one plant. That's a Creole collard. You know, when they're small again, you think I could get in two or three plants, but they're going to get huge. Another kale, a dwarf kale. This is Swiss chard. There are actually probably I don't know, six to six plants in there, maybe a little bit more. Typically you want to put in three, unless you're going to harvest the leaves quickly, and I do. So if you're going to harvest the leaves um, really regularly and not let them get to size with Swiss chard, you can put in up to six plants. But I would do somewhere between three to, three to six plants. And again, another collard plant. They all grow really, really well in a five gallon container. To set up the soil, you just want to use an organic product or a chemical fertilizer and just follow the instructions. Set up the soil as if that's a one foot square planting area and then you are going to want to water them probably every two weeks with a half strength liquid fertilizer but they are going to need to be fed and you also want to put some lime in the soil. Let me take you around to the other side of my garden. You also want to put some lime in the container soil especially when you're growing tomatoes because they will get blossom end rot. Plants that are growing in these containers will really pull the um, nutrients out of the soil. So you do often get a shortage, so to speak, of calcium or the plant, the tomato plant dries out and can't get the calcium. So definitely add some lime to your container soil. You can do a whole lot with greens. This is a whole bucket full of greens growing in the five gallon container. Some more over there. That's actually going to get harvested today for uh, dinner. And you can grow tomatoes. These are determinate tomatoes. Determinate type tomatoes will get two to four feet. They set all their flowers, set their fruit over a period of time, and then the plant dies out. I've also grown indeterminate tomatoes. They're a little bit harder because you have to manage the water better and you do have to stake them. But determinate type tomatoes will definitely grow in a five gallon container. Hope that answers the question of what can I grow in it. It'll give you an idea of how many plants to put into because you can see how they look when they're mature. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.